What's up everybody, it's your girl Stephanie and this is my February favorites. It is already a week into March. I don't say this too often because I feel like it's very cliched, but February just flew by. I think it was March 4th before I even realized that it wasn't February anymore. So I got a few items to show y'all. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. No matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get started. I have two makeup items to show you. So the first one is this Artist Couture Jackie Ina Diamond Glow Powder in La Peach. To me, this is the perfect highlighter. It is this beautiful golden warm tone with a bit of peachy rose gold kind of tone in there. It is really nice for my skin tone and I feel like it'd be really nice for a lot of people. I've been putting this stuff everywhere, obviously on my cheekbones. It just creates such a beautiful highlight on my cupid's bow a little bit on the tip of my nose, which I typically haven't been doing, but I started to do it with this uh, powder in particular. And I also have been using it on the inner corners of my eyes. I'll do this either dry or I'll wet the brush a little bit with like some Fix Plus. Today I just did it dry. Obviously when you do it with Fix Plus, it's a little bit stronger. I just posted a Get Ready With Me where I used it with Fix Plus. So if you wanna see that, I'll put a card up above. And it does do like a little bit more of a like metal look, but to be honest, dry is beautiful as well. I think Jackie Ina did an incredible job creating this product. I know a lot of people have been raving about it. If you haven't gotten your hands on it yet, I would highly recommend it. The nude that I've been wearing a bunch this month is the Fenty Mademoiselle in single. I feel like I've been going through this collection one at a time. Just wait till December and I'll be talking about like one of the purples or the blues. But yeah, I've been really gravitating toward this color. It is a really nice nude for me. It's almost like a corally orange tone to it, which I didn't think that I was gonna go to. To be honest, I always thought that these kind of colors make your teeth look really yellow, but I don't feel like this one does. I know it's not like a true coral or a true orange, but I feel like it's kind of in that family and my teeth look a-okay. <laughs> I've talked about Mademoiselle so much at this point. I love the formula as longevity for like a regular lipstick like this. This is the kind of color that I have applied without a mirror. It's super easy to apply, very opaque, just a few swipes and you're really good to go. This lip color will last me all day long. It doesn't dry out my lips at all. It's matte but wearable. Y'all know already I am a super fan of this whole collection. Let's talk about what's on my ears right now. This is a collaboration between Arden Rose and Majuri and it is my absolute favorite earring right now. She came out with these a couple months ago. I don't know why I haven't talked about them before. I've been wearing them so much. I feel like they're the perfect everyday earring, but they're also great for going to events. I feel like the earrings that I own are very event or like nighttime oriented. They're kind of like statement pieces. I don't own simple ones like these. These are pretty much little gold hoop earrings with this cute little dangly guy down here. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's very wearable. I really love it. They're comfortable. I believe on the site it says they're coated with 18 karat gold. Like I said, I've been wearing them a bunch and they don't irritate my ears at all. So if you're looking for a really nice, simple, elegant, everyday tonight kind of earring, I would really recommend these. I have one accessory and then one clothing item. Here I have these sunglasses by Poppy Lissaman. These are the Barbaras in black. As you can see, they're these super cute cat eye sunglasses with little rose detailing on the front as well as on the sides. I personally have always loved the cat eye shape for sunglasses. I feel like it looks really good for my face shape, but sometimes the way that they're built they hit my cheeks. That's my biggest issue with just glasses or sunglasses in general, is a lot of the styles will hit my cheek because I have like a shallow nose bridge. But these, you do this, it's like nowhere near hitting my cheeks at all. They're very, very comfortable to wear. And they have that cute little detailing, just like a little bit something extra, but they are like an everyday sunglass. Sunglass, sunglasses, is it always? Plural or can you say it singularly? That is a weird word. Anyways, um, these are really beautiful. They're really well made, really high quality sunglasses. They're not like those one off fashion glasses that you get from like Forever 21 or Urban Outfitters. And I've been wearing them on the daily. So yeah, if you're looking for a pair of like cute little detailed sunglasses, definitely look into Poppy Lissman. The site has a bunch of really cute frames. Last item I'm gonna talk about is this red puffy jacket that I've been wearing every day this month. It's actually gotten cold 
here in Los Angeles. And not just like LA cold, but actually really cold. It was really windy for a few days. So this was a lifesaver when I was going out, walking around a bunch. This is a red puffer by Lovers and Friends. I got it from Revolve, and it really is a high quality puffy jacket. I wore this to Aaron Style last weekend, which is an outdoor festival. It started like downpouring on us, and this really kept me super warm, and it is quite trendy for the season. And also, if you're wondering, um, there's no down or feathers in here. It's 100% polyester, just if you were curious about that fact. But yeah, very, very warm jacket, very fashionable. I feel like I've gotten a bunch of use out of it and I will definitely get a lot more use this winter. All right, y'all, that is it for my February favorites. If you like this video and you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood, and also make sure to click on that little bell to get notifications from me. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.